The Land of the Lost is a relatively interesting novel tunes cartoon about these two children that go under the water to the bottom of the sea where all of the things that are thrown into the ocean or lost at sea gather. And while they're there, they encounter this little pen knife who is trying to make it as one of the knives of the square table. And this little knife has to prove itself and prove its worth before it becomes a knight of the square table. And I won't go into too much more detail about this. It's only an eight minute short. I don't want to spoil too much more of the narrative. But there is a problem that needs to be resolved. And it's an opportunity for this little pen knife, who is very adorable, to step up to the plate. Quite literally, there's a, a scene where there's just crockery tumbling down a hill for some reason. And prove his worth and of course I won't say any more about how it ends or what happens but I thought it was a, a pretty fun adventure story that I think a lot of young children would enjoy. It does show the young boy playing with the pen knife which may not be the best message to give but other than that and other than the fact that it's encouraging children to go to the bottom of the ocean or the sea or the lake or whatever it's quite fun it's definitely adventurous. I believe this was turned into a radio series or a short radio series, which I think is something a lot of children would have delighted in listening to. It was released in 1948, directed by Izzy Sparrow and Myron Waldman. I think it's very well animated. It's very pretty to look at. It's very soothing, very gentle. You do get the feeling that you're underwater, but it's not overly abundant. You know, there are some cartoons where it's set underwater and you kind of start to feel a bit seasick because the, the animation is just constantly swaying. It's not like that at all, but you can, you know, you do still remember you're underwater. I thought the Knives of the Square Table was an interesting concept. This little pen knife character is absolutely adorable. Um, I really like that little character. So I don't think it's the best animation I've ever seen. I don't think it gives the best messages. But at the same time, it's quite cute. Relatively well animated with a certainly an adventurous animation. Uh narrative that worked quite well. The Land of the Lost is probably not one that I'll watch again, but I'm glad that I've seen it once and if you're a fan of animation I'd say it's worth checking out.